so I'm in California. I have no words to explain this trip other than why not? I just wanted some sunshine, okay? Um, New York winter was really getting to me and I just needed a break from it. Um, this was supposed to be my only vacation this March, but I ended up having a breakdown about being homesick and I went home earlier this month, back to Portland. Um, and now I just am here and it's so nice because I just biked from Venice Beach to Santa Monica and I get the hype. I see why people love California. Little garden. Cute little pathway. I just feel like the quality of life here is so high and I get it. But I like if I got to just bike or run by the beach every day, I would be a much happier person. And all of the like organic and like quality whole foods here, crazy. And now I'm at the, like one of the Venice canals, maybe. I don't even know what happened for the past few hours. I was just walking around Venice Beach going through different little vintage shops and grocery stores and just looking and browsing. Um, and I decided to buy a towel and a long sleeve because I was getting cold and because I wanted to sit down and watch the sunset. I was originally going to eat dinner somewhere, but I figured why not just have like some little snacks and try some new things from this cute little grocery store I found. Okay. Here is what I got. Um, I can't remember the name, but it's a grocer like literally right in front of the Venice Beach boardwalk sign thing. Um, I got some snacks. The first is Bjorn corn, recommended by Emma Chamberlain, of course. I love popcorn and I'm very excited to try this. I also got Senor Mango. Um, spicy mango chips, I believe. Looked very intriguing. I love mango, so why not? Mediterranean herb potato chips. They had like specialized chocolate, so of course, um, I wanted to try this chrysanthemum tea chocolate. Very cute. And their produce just looked so good, so I got an orange. You guys, I, of course I had to buy this. A calamansi sparkling water, duh. I feel like I never see calamansi drinks. So that was very exciting. And I'm a sucker for any kind of apple drink. So I wanted to try this apple juice that they had. Okay, I have to report. This calamansi sparkling water, so good. I might have to make some of my own at home. Looks very good. I love the spicy and sweet, but it's not too sweet. How could you possibly mess up potato chips? I feel like this is gonna be fine. Where's it really thin? Ooh, I feel like I'm eating rosemary fries. I'm not gonna try this because I don't have anything to clip it and I don't want it to get stale. So, another time. I also bought one of their cookies on the display. So taste test, look how good this cookie looks. I love a giant like flat cookie. When it's like, you can tell it's crispy on the outside and like chewy on the inside. Okay. Taste test. Oh, so good. Okay, I'm probably just gonna sit here and enjoy my own company and watch the sunset. So.
just got a tattoo. Hey, so I'm in Beverly Hills. I bought some flats because my heels were killing me. But I've been wanting these black flats for a long time. And so I feel like this purchase was justified. Anyway, I'm just walking around right now. There's not really anything else I need. I want to get some lunch at Erwan. Super busy right now. I also need a matcha. I'm so tired. So I'm just kind of like walking around. I was trying to kill time so that the lunch rush dies. Um, but I might just go back and get some lunch and then maybe go back to Melrose because that's where I would actually like to do shopping. Today, today has to be a big food day because I feel like I did not eat a ton yesterday and what better thing to do on vacation than to try a bunch of different food spots. few things so let me show you my little feast for tonight first thing is I got the strawberry probiotic smoothie delicious love that it's not too sweet but it's like perfect next I got a combo plate um, and I got this like apple and Faro salad um, and then I think the killer cauliflower and then some spicy ahi tuna poke and yeah this is my dinner and for dessert I couldn't help myself I got two things I got a little chocolate mousse I just wanted something like creamy and chocolatey and that was perfect and I, my favorite dessert in the world is a fruit tart so I couldn't resist grabbing the fruit tart it just looks so good now let's do a little review we'll start with the salad I love like a fruity salad oh that's really good next is the killer cauliflower I think that's like their version of a buffalo cauliflower That's delicious. This is like already kind of room temp, but it's still so good. We're two for two right now. The spicy ahi tuna poke. Probably watch a movie or something. Or I should finish my TV shows. I'm really bad at finishing TV shows, so maybe I will do that. Should I finish one day? I don't feel like crying. I'm scared. Maybe I'll watch one day, but I also kind of watch I want to watch something happy. I don't know. We'll see. I just went to the Silver Lake Flea Market. Um, they had some pretty cool stuff and I left with a little leather moto jacket. I've been wanting to get this style of jacket for a while and I am a sucker for leather jackets. I was like, I don't need more, but I don't have a leather jacket in this style and I would wear it so, so much. So that was my justification for this purchase. And it was $60, which is a lot better than what I would get in New York. So, very happy. And now I'm going to 
little Tokyo for lunch and I'm super hungry so I'm really excited to try some food. because I really wanted one for the past like two days and I had nothing better to do um, yeah so I got like a deep tissue Thai massage and I feel like all of the knots in my back were taken out but I feel so relaxed and now I'm gonna go get boba so yeah I'm very happy Ooh, that looks fun um, there's like a really popular, good looking shave ice place, but I don't really want shave ice. Also, want to clarify, I'm in Koreatown. I feel like there's something so comforting about being in like Asian communities in different cities. Like, rude! Koreatown, Little Tokyo, Chinatown, anywhere, whether it's Portland, LA, San Francisco, New York City, it's just so comforting.